Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I'm going to do a couple of uh, kittens up today. They're only quick ones because they are specials. Because they're the larger size, uh, this one is 70 by 30 and this one is 30 by 50. I'm actually going to put them into little containers, uh, my little bottle storage. Uh, really, because they'll probably take me more than one session to do. Any of my smaller ones that I think oh, I can just sit down and complete that in an evening or an, a couple of hours in an afternoon then I usually don't kit up um, but because these are that little bit bigger and I'm likely to have to maybe do them over two days rather than just the one then I'm going to kit them up Yay! I love my specials and these will be part of smashing the specials and I've discovered a wonderful place to put this one it can go above the window in my craft room I've just got like a space uh, where this will just fit so he'll be looking down on me wow and i think and i think the light from the window underneath him will just make him sparkle that's the plan anyway so i've got these two to get done so they're both 17 colors 17 uh, different gems and colors there are none of the uh, gem codes on either of these so i can just literally number them at one to 17 so that's great so i'm gonna have a go using my new lipstick case that i got recently from aliexpress there is an unboxing on this this is the one with the little uh, case in there in the middle and then i've got my old trusty one of the first ones that i bought with the 18 different uh, pots in it so yeah i've got that one as well uh, i've just had to add number 13 i'm not quite sure where 13 went this was like my go-to one with all the numbers that i just keep on uh but for whatever reason number 13 decided it didn't want to stay with the rest so it's gone so i've had to do it uh, a new bottle and a new label it'll turn up eventually it's probably in the bottom of a box somewhere <laughs> so I'll just pop those on there for now and i just wanted to quickly show you after my sealing video uh, i did say that i would show you my box after i'd finished it so this is the robin box that if you look on my i think it's about two or three videos ago um i did do a full sealing on this i did a kitting down a review and a sealing and as you can see it is all now nice and dry very very tactile loving it and i'm just going to take the washi tape off as well because i did put washi tape around the edges to stop me getting any sealer onto the black parts uh, all the gems are there so those spare gems that i had that were popping uh, oops that's just come off there let me just go the other way oh, getting into a right mess with this look <laughs> Just that little edge there has just got a little extra bit that's just decided to peel off. It's maybe just got a little bit of sealer on it. Oh, look, this is no good, Liz. What's going on here then? Shall I get my tweezers or are my nails going to be okay? Yeah, it's just as I've caught the sealer on it, it's decided to stick to the canvas. There it is. That's that bit off as well. So let's go this way so you can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm just talking away and you don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so I put the tape around, the washi tape around the edges just to stop me uh, getting any sealer onto the black parts, the material parts of the box. And I'll just peel this one down. Yeah, this is... I, bet I probably should have taken it off, actually, after I'd finished rather than leaving it completely set because we are a couple of days on now but that just shows how good the sealer is it's even sealed washing tape onto canvas <laughs> washing tape washing tapes because i've been doing the washing this morning right so that and as you can see none of the sparkle even on the little eyes have gone it is all still nice and crystally and sparkly so i can now get my christmas items put away and that uh, done yes yeah, so i just thought before i kit up i will just quickly show you uh, this little robin uh scene this little robin box that i've got so yeah i'm a I've lost one of the feet off my cutting mat and it's wobbling. Ah, can't be doing with that. So I'm just going to put the base in the bottom. And these are a lovely big 30 by 30 box. So if, oh, look at that big robins. <laughs> so if you use the Kallax system from Ikea, um, they're sort of like squares are 30 by 30, well, just over 30 by 30 centimetres. 
also if you are wanting boxes that fit exact a lot of the ones that i've had in the past and the diamond painting storage boxes have been more or less 25 by 25 and you end up with the gaps around the edges and i do prefer the look where it sort of like more or less fills the box i can sometimes just shove something on top which i do quite a lot but uh, yeah they do fit better so i do like those and say they are craft buddy ones and it just makes it that little bit more sparkly as well right i'm going to keep this one up first uh, it was from gbfke so you want to see the unboxing it was october last year october 2023 that i received this one so yeah and it was four pound 18 and i do like it i have got a couple of these to do but i thought well i'll get cracking on this one first if i kick them up then they are ready to go out there they're ready to do so i have no excuse for not doing them right i need a tray okay grab my tray let's do it into this one and we want gbfke house october 23 17 colors excellent oh let's grab my little wheelie bin as well i do like my little wheelie bin look i should have got the green one shouldn't have to match them with my trays they don't do the trays in pink sadly otherwise i'd have got those so yeah my little wheelie bin and it's even got wheels that work <laughs> okay so let's get this started so it will be quick because there's not a huge amount to do on these but uh, yeah i just thought oh well we'll have a bit of a chat and i'll get these kitted up while uh, so working on the smashing the special which is an event held by mindy mindy's diamond moment and brandy mystery of diamonds and uh, yeah it's from the 1st of january to the 31st of january i think mindy has already given out her prize for the first week uh, you need to go onto facebook onto their facebook page which i think is diamond moments and crafts i'll put links down below and then uh, yeah you can put your pictures they put like a post and you can put your pictures there of which ones you've done i think i've done six i've done another two so i think i've done eight so far so yeah i'm trying to do some of my bigger projects because you know I, I do lots of little projects so i thought i'll try and do some of my bigger pictures because i want to get them hung on my walls it's no point in having them and thinking yeah i'm going to do that and i'm going to do that and then not doing them albeit i do like taking them out and having a look <laughs> but yeah i think these might go in the conservatory which might be quite a good experiment the the house ones that i've got um i think there is a set of four and i've got two of them and i thought they could maybe go either side of the patio doors into the conservatory and see how well they work because our conservatory does get exceptionally hot so i'll maybe seal one and not seal the other one and see whether it makes any difference to whether it i mean it will fade the picture because it does get so hot in there even with the blinds closed um i've got like a red tartan scotty cushion in there and that has faded um so i'm sure the pictures will fade which do i really want my pictures to fade hmm we'll see um but i'm more interested into how it affects the gems whether it melts the glue whether the gems start coming off or anything so that's what i want to do with those so that's uh, one for summer if we ever get there although it has been quite a warm christmas i think we had the warmest december here in the uk on record which for a lot of places won't be that warm but for us it was warm um oh we've got an extra what color is that one let me just have a look we've got uh oh i don't know what color that one is is it that last one that i've just done no it's not we've got an extra there let me just get rid of that one i don't know where that one's come from probably one of the containers but i'm not sure what color it is so he can make his break for freedom and escape into the bin da, da, da. so i'm not quite sure where he'll end up right so anyway hope everybody is okay and life is treating you as kindly as possible these are a little bit staticky come on i don't want staticky crystals it's bad enough when you get the uh, resin and acrylic ones that start um that start jumping all over i can't be doing with these as well so yeah um my mum was due to have her operation on wednesday and unfortunately it was then thursday they cancelled it on wednesday and they kept her waiting 
Uh, I think I rang up about seven o'clock at night because I've rung up a couple of times. I don't like ringing up a lot. I know people are busy. It's nothing worse than when you're really, really busy and somebody keeps ringing up and asking the same questions. But anyway, so it's it's not very good. I don't know a way around it, to be honest, because uh, you've got to be nil by mouth. So from midnight on Monday, uh, sorry, midnight on Tuesday night, right up until they decided that she wasn't going to be going for her operation, which was like at half past six at the night. She'd not had anything to eat or drink. And yeah, as I say, she's she's uh, in her late 80s. So that's a long time to go for anybody, let alone uh, an older lady. I won't say elderly because she'll uh, slap me. <laughs> She says she still feels 16, really. It's just a body that says that, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's quite... But as I say, I don't know a way around it because they don't know. You know, if you're still going for an operation, you can't have anything to eat or drink because they don't want you being poorly on the operating table. And it can make you sick. So, yeah, anyway, she went... Uh, I think she went round about dinner time on Thursday... So my dad went to see her, uh, my brother came from London um, with his family and my dad went to see her with my brother yesterday about three o'clock. So she was only two hours more or less after having the operation and she was absolutely fine. She was full of it. Uh, the only problem was the um, hospital bed that she was on. It's one of those movable mattresses, you know, they're like the air mattresses, decided to stop working. So they had to move her into a different bed. So that didn't go down very well because um, she thought she was being moved into a room on her own and she wanted people to talk to her. She didn't want to be in a room on her own because she's, although she does watch television, she's not a big television person um, and she's not really in a place where she can sit and read. Uh, she, she does like reading and she loves doing jigsaws. But she's finding now, the older she's getting, she's finding it harder to hold the books. She won't have a Kindle or anything. She refuses to have anything electronic. I think we're possibly one of the only families in the country that uh, buy books. I buy them for my Kindle. So I read my books on the Kindle and my mum still buys the actual physical books. So, yeah. <laughs> We're a publisher's dream. We buy both lots because we do like the same things. And uh, yeah, I find that I just can't be faffing with books. And to be honest, because of my eyesight now, oh, hot pink. Just have a quick shout out for hot pink. Uh, because of my eyesight now, I have my, uh, well, I use my tablet actually. So I don't use, it's the Kindle app on my tablet. And uh, I tend to have it on. Um, quite biggish writing so I don't have to strain my eyes while I'm reading um, or I, I actually read on my phone sometimes as well but again I have that biggish writing whereas the paperback books that you buy are like your standard type and I just can't see those particularly on a night when I'm tired and I do tend to mainly read either when I'm sat waiting for hubby with hospital appointments and things or when I'm in bed on a night so yeah, um, I wouldn't be able to read the books. My mum's got better eyesight than I have. <laughs> yeah, she's quite a lot older than me and she's got really good eyesight. But anyway, she must be made of strong stuff is all I can say after having uh, an operation in her late 80s. And uh, yeah, she's come out through it, you know, flying colours really. As I say, she was sat chatting away. So we're pleased that that's got done. Um, big shout out to everybody who's got uh, loved ones or is in hospital themselves or is uh, going through illnesses at the moment. I know it's not nice. Uh, I know in the UK we have got some of these strange fluey, virusy bug things going round. So, yeah, do take care, everybody. It's not good to be ill these days, uh, particularly with all the hospital waiting lists and everything. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so Hubby's gone for his dialysis today, so he's uh, made his sandwiches this morning. Uh, yeah, he's, it's like he's going to work, he's like he's getting himself ready for work, you know, he gets up. Um, well, I help him get up and, you know, he goes and gets himself ready and then he goes into the kitchen and he's actually starting to make sandwiches, which is excellent news. 
because then he can't say to me oh you didn't put enough butter on or oh you could have put a bit more filling in this one you can't blame anybody now <laughs> uh, i just hope he comes home uh, fairly early the other day he actually got home at half past four which was amazing um some nights it's like nearly seven o'clock when he gets home but uh, yeah when he finishes his dialysis at four and he's home by half past that's excellent so you know we had quite a nice night and we can uh, sit and relax and watch television if it's a later evening you know seven o'clock then he's just so tired after being out all day because you know they can pick him up any time from like seven uh, sorry seven o'clock ten seven o'clock in the morning oh no uh, at ten o'clock in the morning um you know and it is a long day for anybody and uh, yeah even though sort of he's on like a hospital bed and you know he gets a television and they make him a cup of tea and he sits and eats his sandwiches uh, it's uh, tiring so yeah nobody else is allowed in uh, the ward while anybody's having dialysis so yeah he, well he's got the other people to chat to he's getting to know people that come on the like medi bus with him and uh, he's getting to know the nurses and things and they all say hello to him so yeah and he's got something a bit different to talk about as well which is always nice you know because when you're with each other 24 hours a day seven days a week you tend not to talk that much because there's not really that much to talk about because everything that's happened you've done it together so you know it's happened i mean we do talk don't get me wrong but <laughs> you know what i mean so now you know i've got bits where I can do things while he's out and he's out. So he comes home and tells me all the people and all the people he's been chatting to and everything. So, yeah, it just uh, breaks up the week a little bit. It's really good. And it's doing him the world of good as well. So that's always a plus. Right, so I will keep that little bag because it's got my label on it there. So that uh, will be going in my little log book. So that's the house kitted up. And now we're going to get up this fantastic owl. Oh, actually, now then, I need to mark that, don't I? Shall I keep, I think I'll keep this bag with that for now. Because otherwise, I think I'll realise which is which. But with them both being 17 colours, I don't want to start using the wrong colour. Okay, so I shall put that one over there. My bin's getting quite full, but I love this owl. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I've got to get that. I love special drills. Have I said that? I've said that about 300 times, I know. But I really do enjoy doing special drill projects. And I am a definite magpie because I just love anything sparkly. And when I saw this, I thought, I've got to have that. It's so stunning. And the flowers and everything down here. And then this owl with his wings open flying towards you. Um, he's got like a big wheel in the background. I'm not quite sure what that is, whether that's a, a, a symbol or something, but it does look like a big wheel. Um, so, yeah, maybe he's like, ha ha, I'm coming to see you. Get the tea on, get the kettle on. <laughs> so, yeah, again, 17 colours. And this one was from October 23 unboxing as well. So I get them both at the same time then. I did, I got them both, so if you do look on my playlist, uh, GBFKE playlist for October, you will see um, both of these being unboxed and the full look at the crystals and the gems and everything. And this one was £6.75, he is a little bit bigger, he is a 70 by 30 so is a 25 by 65 centimeter because uh, actually it might be slightly smaller because it's got uh, a little bit bigger borders so it might be about a 24 by a 64 um whether i don't think i'm going to put this one in a frame i think i may seal it and put it onto some mount board sorry foam board and as i say somebody has asked me to show how i uh, put things onto the foam board so i will be doing that as well possibly with this one we'll see how we get on and how my videos go right so we want the next 17 this is actually a a nine a 19 bottle holder uh, it is uh, they are lipstick cases really but uh, i did get one as a kit 
oh way back when i more or less first started my diamond painting journey um and it came from amazon and it had all diamond painting stuff with it when i went then looking to see if i could get some more because amazon sold out and didn't get any more um i discovered that there were lipstick cases so i've got a few different ones in different sizes i've got a bigger one that holds like 24 or 28 cases uh, i've got one that ho only holds eight i've got a couple that hold the 18 because they're really handy for like special drills um, and then i saw this one with like the little case bit in the middle and i thought oh that'd be different that's a bit handy so i got this i've put some empty bottles in that i've already got as you can see i've had to add some extra numbers because i've lost some of my nice numbers uh, it does have space for putting your pens and everything as well but again there is an unboxing on this if you do check out my ali express 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 playlist do you know my worms just start coming out today <laughs> Right. Oh, looks like we've got some bit fuller bags in this one. So hopefully they'll all go into the little boxes and some bigger gems as well. <gasps> and this one is going to start off with a hot pink. Yay. Okay. Uh, oh, I am using my um, lovely butterfly scissors. I think these may have come from Timu, actually. They're embroidery scissors because they're very sharp right to the tips. I just like them because they've got butterflies on just thought they were really really pretty so yeah i'm using those today okay so let's start off with number one which is our hot pink the only thing with this not being like in straight lines i wasn't quite sure how to number the bottles so i've started number one up there rather than here i suppose i could have done it that way but then that and then going that way so i've done it round to here and then i've done the 11 round to there and i do need to just get another bottle to put in there i will have some more spares somewhere i've got a container with them in so i'll see how it goes um as i'm using it i'll find whether having it in this number configuration is easy or not if it's not then i'll have to change it but we'll go with this one for now and see where we are Put my little bin over there again. Hot pink to start off with. Oh, yes. You'd think I'd planned getting these, wouldn't you, with hot pink on? <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Uh, Millie is actually due for a haircut again next week. I can't believe it. Uh, Millie's our little Scottish terrier, our Scotty dog, hence Scotty Dog Crafts. Uh, yeah, she's our second Scotty that we've had, and uh, we do belong at a charity, Scotty Dog Rescue, Scottish Terrier Emergency Care Services, and uh, yeah, link to that is down below as well. And Many Tears is another charity that I support, another animal charity. <gasps> will these all go in here? Yes, they will. Yay! So if the biggest bag fits in, we will just need the seventeen containers. That's good. So yeah, she's. Uh, after having herself completely all her skirt and all her fluffy legs just shaved down because she's such a mucky pup. In fact, she does need a bath. She came in yesterday and she, even though she's not got a skirt, because she goes swimming in the deep puddles in the fields, she ends up with like a layer of like mud and dirt all along her either side of her tummy. And uh, even though it's not long fair, it's still sticking to it. So, yeah, it's a case of grabbing her. We always towel her dry when she comes in because she's always soggy. Um, and then we have like waterproof covers uh, on the settee. They're like a material with a waterproof underneath. And at the moment, she's laid on like a nice soft, fluffy towel as well. To try and protect things, try and stop the mud going everywhere. It's easier to pick up the little towel or a little blanket and shake it outside to get the mud off than it is to uh, have to keep washing the uh, three-piece sweets. So, yeah. Oh, I've got another hot pink in this one. Yay! So she's quite happy with herself. Uh, she didn't want to get out of bed this morning. It's still quite dark in the morning here and quite chilly. So, yeah, she's... Uh, definitely as she is getting older she will be seven next month um which isn't that old for a dog but she does seem to be like in bed a lot more these days than she used to uh, so yeah she likes to lay in 
and uh, I have to get her out and then more or less throw her out in the garden. In fact, it's really, really funny. I, I don't know whether I've said before, but if it's really raining heavily and she needs to, when she gets up, obviously go out to do the usual, as it were. And she won't go. She looks at you as if to say, if you think I'm going out in that, you've got another thing coming. Um, so I just pick her up, run into the middle of the grass in the garden, uh, put her down on the grass and then run back in. And I just know that she's not going to be able to follow me and run back into the house without needing to go. So, yeah, that's the only way I can get her done. I mean, I'm stood there waiting with a towel for her when she comes in uh, and it's been on the radiator. So it's nice and warm. But uh, yeah, she's not keen on rain. Yeah, she loves water. She'll go swimming in dirty puddles and all sorts. But uh, yeah, to actually go out in the rain, she's not keen at all. She loves snow when she was a baby. Uh, we did have snow, I think, one or two years that lasted about a day. And when it snowed, we just couldn't keep her in. She was out in it. She was rolling in it. She was running around in it like a maniac. Um, but yeah, rain, no, don't do rain. Even just slightly spitting sometimes, she doesn't do rain. So go figure, she's a strange dog. She's a mucky pup though, oh my goodness. But she's not a roly dog. You know, a lot of particular terriers, if they come across, say, a cow pat, they'll go and roll in it. Um, or fox poo, oh my goodness me, that is one of the smells that is just so hard to get rid of. You can actually now get fox poo shampoo, which like breaks down the en enzymes and the grease and everything to get rid of the smell because it really does linger and dogs just absolutely. Um, our last uh, Scotty, Maisie, she would roll in things. If you took her anywhere into a field where there'd been cows, she'd just head for anything uh, nice and slimy on the ground. And you're like, no. But uh, yeah, she, she's, yeah, Millie's just not like that for some reason. Don't know. She'll drink out of muddy puddles. She'll swim in muddy water, but she's not. Well, she doesn't seem to be that bothered about rolling and stuff. Maybe it's because I've got used to the fact that uh, dogs roll and I keep an eye on her to make sure she doesn't. <laughs> I don't know whether I've told the story before. We used to have a, a little Westie, a West Highland White Terrier. Um, he was my first dog. Oh, he was gorgeous. He was just so funny. And uh, I was just thinking then, where does this one go? But yeah, there's an extra one on this end, isn't there? <laughs> I'd lost one of my little gaps then. Oh dear. Right. Oh, this one doesn't want to come out. Let go. Gosh. Oh, that one hasn't quite split. Let me just. That's it. Yeah, it's because they. When these come, the uh, little crosses on them tend to sometimes still be together. So you sometimes just have to help them along to split apart, as it were. Right, so number 11, yeah, um, and he really was a terrier and he was a right stubborn little man as well. And as he got older, he ended up being like a little grumpy old man. And he was a definite, you couldn't train him. If he did something that you'd asked him to do, it was pure coincidence because it meant he was going to be doing it anyway, you know, but he was gorgeous. I loved him so much. And uh, yeah, we took him, we have uh, like, a, there's a town at the far side of our, uh, of, there's a town at the far side of Hull called Beverly and it has like a big green area called Beverly Westwood. It's got all trees and it's um, a grazing land for cows. It's got one of these ancient um, rules or laws or whatever where you can actually take your cows and graze on that land. So there are quite a few cows around there. So you can imagine there's quite a few splats in the grass. And one day we took the kids and uh, we had another dog at the time as well, a little uh, black American Cocker Spaniel called Sweep. And uh, we took them both just to have a run, really, let the kids go and have a run and a play and take a football and everything. And there's lots of trees there that you can climb up and, you know, do all children things, really. It's a long time ago. It's when our children were little. And, uh, yeah, Harvey took one look at it and thought, well, hey, I've hit the jackpot. And the first cow pat he came across, he rolled in it. Well, he went from white to green in about 30 seconds. <laughs> and 
we didn't have any water to wash him down with. We had some flasks with us, but they were hot water, so we could hardly pour boiling water on the poor little thing. Um, poor little thing, I was so cross. <laughs> In fact, actually, I think we just stood there and said, what are we going to do now? Um, there was water on the Westwood, but it was in like the big, you know, like um, drinking, what are they called? It was in like the big drinking troughs for the cows. So that was absolutely filthy as well. So if we'd have tried using any of that water, it'd have probably ended up just as smelly as he already was. So we thought, right, we'll put the dogs in the boot of the car. Um, take the lid off, obviously. Don't shut the boot on them. It was like a hatchback. So we took everything out of the boot, squashed it all in the back with the kids on the back seat and uh, put the dogs in the boot. Well, Sweep, the Spaniel, decided if you think I'm sitting next to him smelling like this, you've got another thing coming. And he literally took a great big <laughs> leap from the hatchback in the boot of the car and leapt over the passenger seats where the kids were sat and landed on my knee in the front seat and honestly I just couldn't stop laughing it was just so funny it was like if you think I'm sitting next to him smelling like that you've got another thing coming no way am I sitting next to him so we had to drive home with all the car windows open we'd put I think we had some old blankets or towels or something um in the car we usually did with you know, in case the kids wanted to go paddling or whatever. And with having the dogs, we always had something to dry people or dogs off with. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm taking the lid off this one. And uh, so they were like all down in the boot so that it couldn't, you know, be on like the actual uh, car material, as it were. And uh, he was wanting to jump across as well, but he was only small, you know, sweet with being a spaniel, was a lot more bouncy and had longer legs and everything and uh, yeah so harvey's trying to get across the seats and the kids are saying oh he's smelling so the windows are open so that the smell was like blowing out of the car as we're going along and the kids were like holding up towels um across the back of the car um the hatchback bit so that they could like, block some of the smell and then they put in their um coats over the faces and the noses so they couldn't smell anything it was honestly just so so funny oh dear the things we used to, the dogs used to get up to and we used to get up to so of course the first thing we did when we got him home i mean it was quite a warm day um not warm enough to have dried up the splats unfortunately uh so we just um basically hosed him down in the back garden and um, i got some warmish water like in a watering can and everything and we used the hose to like bath him outside and wash him down and then i took him upstairs and bathed him properly but yeah we thought we can't have that going down the drain <laughs> oh dear so that was an adventurous day out my goodness me just uh, the things that uh, we used to have to do uh, yeah, be prepared for all eventualities. I wasn't a girl guide for nothing. Right, so I've got all my little bin filled up here so I can empty that. And I've got my two lots of gems all nicely kitted up. Put my scissors back on my shelf and my tray back on my little whatnot stain. And then I can now get on with my two specials, extra large specials. I'm going to leave the little owl on the top. Well, uh, yeah, I'm never quite sure where my conversations are going to go um, when I start on these videos. So we've ended up with um, white dogs and cow pats. <laughs> or green dogs as he turned into the nasty dog. <laughs> OK, well, that's uh, me kitted up. So I'll uh, end this video here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this little chat and seeing these pictures again, a uh, thumbs up is always very much appreciated. As I say, they are from GBFKE, so if you want to go and check them out um, and see what special offers they've got available and everything, uh, and maybe get these yourself because they are stunning and hopefully when they're done, they'll be even more stunning. 
Uh, if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I am up to date on my comments. Yay! If you have put a comment and I've not replied to you and it's been sort of over a few days since you put the comment, can you pop it again for me or just tag me in it again? Because sometimes the comments don't come through. Um, I did go through a phase last year where some comments from like two and three months ago suddenly turned up um, on my like inbox and I'd never seen them before. So, yeah, if you can just do that for me, because I'd hate to think I'd ignored somebody's question. I do read all my comments and I do try and reply to every single one. Well, certainly everyone that I see anyway. Anyway, if you do want to join our little family as well and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.